Alright, it's time for me to teach y'all how to make some goddamn Kool-Aid. I'm tired of going to people's houses and they don't have no good Kool-Aid. It tastes like cough syrup. We need you guys to know how to make some Kool-Aid. This is Black Man Teaches You How to Make Kool-Aid. Step number one, fill this bitch ass pitcher the hell on up. All right, you get your pitcher, you get your water. The problem with my water is it's very low pressure. It's on right now, but no water's coming out. That's how low the pressure is. So look at this. Look at this little dribble ass goddamn water. This is how I fill up my pitchers. This is how I fill up my glasses. This is how I clean my dishes. With this little ass, look at this. It sprays like an old man's piss. Oh damn, I'm spraying the water all over myself. Like I just took a bukkake scene. Oh, I'm slipping and shit. Time for step two. You only have two choices when it comes to Kool-Aid flavor. Purple or red. That's it. Why? Because green tastes like night quail or margaritas. Orange looks like piss. And I'm sure as hell not drinking no orange piss. We're going to go with purple. But we will still be using this packet a little bit later. You pour, you gotta get all of it out. Pretend you're doing a little cocaine. Just pour it like that. Don't do it, don't do all that. Just like that, dab it out. Do this, boom, look, boom. That means ain't no more in there. You open a little pee hole in the sugar to give it that pouring effect. Pour, keep pouring. You're not done pouring. You gotta make sure the bottom looks white. Come on, keep pouring. The bottom ain't white enough. Now go down the timer. Five, four, three, two, one. Heart attack, you're done. After that, you get your trusted mother cracking spoon. I'm spooning, bitch! And you mix this mother cracker, or as I like to say, you beat it. Do not mix it, beat it. Beat it. Like you masturbating, beat it. If you make a mess, it's fine. Beat that shit. Beat that shit. Beat that shit. Beat that shit. I beat that shit. I know I made a mess, but hey, you want a, some good Kool-Aid? You gotta make a little bit of mess sometimes. You'll have a towel, you'll be all right. Your Kool-Aid is good to go right now. But I'm gonna show you a trusted advanced step. You will need an ice tray. You will make another batch of Kool-Aid with the other packet that you have remaining. You will pour it into the ice tray. After you pour it into the ice tray, you will get a little bit of salt and you will pour it inside of the ice tray where the Kool-Aid is in. Then you will put it inside of your freezer. When you awaken in the morning, you will have this brightly colored, period, ice tray of Kool-Aid. You're gonna snap it like you snap a chihuahua's neck. You heard that? And you're gonna pour it. Oh, damn. Y'all see that? Now, we will taste. And you guys, make sure that you put enough sugar in here because if you didn't, it will not have that balanced taste of a diabetic coma. Yes! Yes! And there you have it, bitch ass niggas. How to make Kool-Aid with red, beautiful Kool-Aid ice. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Ooh! Yes! Oh! 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 That was amazing.